Hi, I'm Nicky Kotovich and we're here today to talk about knocking out a wall. One of the biggest questions that we get in the building industry is, can we knock out the wall? And the answer to that is yes, as long as you determine whether or not it is a load-bearing wall. Before we get into talking about whether it's load-bearing or not, one thing we need to take into consideration, given that this is an older home, the wall is actually built on a foundation of footing which is below the floorboards, and that means that this wall is going to go through the floor onto a footing or foundation below. So one thing to consider in this scenario is the floor itself. There will be a hole in the floor once the wall is removed. We need to be mindful that we have to fill in that hole and make good the floor, which is an extra cost. So what we need to do is determine whether or not this is a load-bearing wall. And we can do that by simply getting up into the roof and having a look. So if you look up above my head here, you'll see that there's a block holding up a timber beam which runs across. That block is supported by this wall, therefore it's a load-bearing wall. If you look over to the right, you'll also see that there's a, a timber strut that runs up all the way up to the purling, which holds the roof up. So that there also means it's load bearing. So in actual fact, this wall is supporting both the ceiling and the roof. We can't simply knock this wall out. What we need to do is engage a structural engineer or consult with the timber framing code to find out exactly what type of beam that we need to install to transfer those loads onto the new beam prior to us knocking this wall out. So the three tips I've got for knocking out a wall. Tip number one, always check to see if the, the wall is load bearing before you do any physical work. You don't have to cut a hole in the ceiling to have a look like we've done. You can simply go in through the manhole to have a look. If it is load bearing, you need to consult a professional, a builder or a structural engineer and get further advice. Second tip, is check to see whether the wall that you want to knock out has any services such as a power point, light switch or any water or plumbing on either side of the wall because if you go to knock out that wall without dealing with those services first it could be very costly. And my third tip is take into consideration the mess you're going to make when you knock out a wall. So now we're ready to knock down the wall, let's get into it. <laughs> 